Hey, what's up everybody? Joe B here from Bailey Wiki, and I wanted to take a moment to show you step-by-step -step how to take one of Colby's amazing builds from D4 Optimized and get it into Foundry VTT as a playable character. I've done this a couple times now and made some short videos about it. So I wanted to take a moment to make sure that you could see how to do it every step of the way. So today, I'm gonna to walk you through that process. I'm gonna show you all of the mods that you need in Foundry VDT to make this happen. And I'm gonna show you how to tweak that character within Foundry to make sure that all of the cool abilities that Colby has suggested you use are automated, have cool graphics, and are ready to rock for your session. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you gotta do is find your favorite build to make which is tough because there are a ton. My personal recent favorite has been the Barbarian from Hell. His buddy Randall Hampton here makes some amazing art. I recommend that you support him and contact him if you want to have some art of your own for your own game. And then you head on over to Hero Forge. This was a ton of fun to build and you can see that the stuff that you get to make on Hero Forge, I mean, it's just top notch. So in order to get access to this within foundry you will need to buy it but what you're going to want to do is go down to 3d digital here you can see it's on sale at the moment so usually it's 7.99 marked down to 3.99 for black friday for as long as that lasts and you can see here that i since i subscribe would download it for one credit so another thing i recommend that you do if you want to have a top-down version of your token is take photos in the photo booth in hero forge and you're only gonna need one, and that's gonna be the top-down view. And see that I have no background here, and I'm going to click Capture, and you just download it, and you save it to wherever is most convenient for your access to your token images. Now, we get to go to D&D Beyond and build out the character. One thing about being a subscriber to D&D Deep Dive is that you get access to Colby's G Drive folder with all of the write-ups for all of the character builds. I mean, check this out. Pretty sweet, huh? Not gonna show it here because you should subscribe and check it out, but it's a super detailed walkthrough of exactly how to build the character. Go over to D&D Beyond, and you can see that I've just taken some time here to build the Barbarian from Hell up to level two, including spells. And then I go over to Foundry. Okay, so here I am in Foundry. You can see that I've got a various game world set up. I'm gonna go over to my modules and I'm gonna make sure that I update all. There's gonna be a list of all the mods that you need to make this happen, and that's gonna be in the description below. So make sure that you have those installed and updated. You're gonna log into your world. The first mod that we're going to be using is DDB Importer by Mr. Primate. What this does is when you create a new actor, for example, Barbarian from Hell, you get this cool little button that says D&D Beyond. You're going to click on that, and this window pops up. What you're going to do now, go over to your character sheet in D&D Beyond, copy the URL, paste it here. It takes a minute. I just click Default on this Choose Resource for Barbarian from Hell. This usually works pretty well. And you can see that all of the information from my character sheet is now loaded into Foundry. It's pretty awesome. The next mod that we're going to use is 3D portraits. You can see when you click this little button up here that says 3D, it opens up this small window. Now for this, you're going to need to link your Hero Forge account to Foundry VTT. The way that you do that is in settings, you go down to 3D portraits and you're gonna need your Hero Forge authentication key. You get that by going into account, personal info, and in that first tab, you're going to see your access key. Just copy that and paste it here. Save the changes. And then when you click on this little Hero Forge button here, it's going to open up your Hero Forge library. This is all the stuff that I have in my Hero Forge library. I'm going to click on the character that I just made, save. If you want it to be locked, go over to your character, actors, right click on it, and go to View Token Artwork. Here, you can find a cool way to frame your character up. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to save it. And now when I open up my character sheet, you can see my token artwork. And if I wanted to share that with other people, I can show it to players if I'm the GM. Excellent. So we go to our next mod, which is Tokenizer. So this is gonna be the avatar that's coming in from D&D Beyond. You can set whatever you want here if you have a different picture that you like. 
I'm not gonna worry about that too much. What I'm going to do is modify the token. I'm gonna delete what's here and just leave the frame. I'm going to upload my top-down picture. You can see it comes in over the top there, and I'm just gonna delete the frame. You can unlock it if you wanna move it around or zoom in, what have you. Then I'm gonna click Apply, and now when I drag it out, I get a really cool top-down version of my Hero Forge Mini, which I think looks pretty cool. Now, let's just finish getting all of the minis in to both the 2D view and a 3D view. For this, we're going to be using 3D Canvas by The Ripper 93. Let me just pop over to a very cool looking 3D map. So this is an awesome map that you can get as part of the Bailiwicky suites of 3D content, which is pretty awesome. This is all working completely within Foundry right now. But what happens when I drag my Barbarian from Hell into the 3D scene? You can see that it's just that 2D image, the top-down image that I added in the 2D version. So what I'm gonna do is open up the prototype token. And in this window, I'm gonna click over to 3D. You can see now that I have this little Hero Forge button. I'm gonna click on the character that I want, select, and then I'm going to update the token. Now, when I drag it in, there is my awesome Hero Forge Mini ready to rock. Now, let's see if we can get the abilities working the way that we'd like them to work. So a very cool part of this Barbarian from Hell is that this Barbarian from Hell can cast Armor of Agathis. Let's see how that's working for us. Click the spell. Just because I'm doing some testing, I'm not going to consume a spell slot. And with the mods that we have installed, you can see that there's already a lot of cool animation happening. And you can see that on my character sheet, I have five temporary hit points that were added automatically. Pretty cool. But what happens right now when I get hit? We're gonna add this Azer to the fight. Ideally, what should happen with Armor of Agathis is that when I get hit, the Armor of Agathis spell should hurt the other player, as well as automatically remove Armor of Agathis. Let's see what happens. I'm going to attack with my Warhammer here. That's gonna hit and roll damage. Now you can see Armor of Agathis has been removed. However, the Azer still has all their hit points. So how do we fix this? We use the mod Chris's Premades. What Chris's Premades has done is create a bunch of the spells that people use a lot within Foundry VTT and tweak them a bit to make them work as intended. How would we do this? What we do is we open up our character sheet and you can see imported from D&D Beyond, Armor of Agathis is in our character sheet. And some people may just wanna stop here and that's fine. But personally, I really like it if the entire spell is automated. So there's less that I have to think about when it comes to remembering rules. So once you download Chris's premades, you're going to find them in your compendiums and look up CPR spells. So you can see here in Chris's premades that there are a ton of spells here that have various different steps or aspects to them that might not automatically come in from D&D Beyond. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the spell that's in my character sheet right now, and I'm going to take the Armor of Agathis from Chris's premades and drag it and drop it in. This would work fine, but I believe this is coming in as a wizard spell, and you can change that. You go over and edit it, and what you're going to do, you're going to go down to spell preparation mode and just change it to packed magic. Now you can see that it's moved into packed magic, and then you're done. Now, let's see how this works. I'm going to cast it again. I'm not going to consume a spell slot just because I'm testing things out. There's already some cooler stuff happening here, a slightly different animation. And you can see in the upper right hand corner, I have a little reminder that I have Armor of Agathis up and it's going to be up for 60 minutes. And I've also got this really cool glowing orb around myself. There's just some cool bells and whistles. However, the most important thing is let's see what else is automated here. I'm going to try to hit my Barbarian from Hell with this Azer again. Let's see what happens. That's gonna be a hit. Here comes the hit. And you can see that all of the hit points were taken away from me. However, you can see that the Azer also lost hit points from Armor of Agathis. And you can see that Armor of Agathis was automatically removed. Let's get our buddy the Barbarian from Hell out of combat because he looks like he's in trouble. But before we go, I would like to see this within 3D. So here we go. Let's just cast Armor of Agathis on ourselves again. 
not going to consume a slot. Here it comes. So you can see that there are a ton of really awesome animations that are linked to 3D as well as 2D. And that's pretty much it. So it takes a little bit of work, but now for the entire campaign, I have my Barbarian from Hell that works in both 2D and 3D and has all of its spells and abilities ready to rock and mimicking those that Colby suggested in his builds. So I hope you found this helpful. Please be sure to leave any questions or comments about how any of this works or mods that you might need uh, in the comments below. We work with Foundry VTT all the time and I get super inspired by creators like Colby who just make the coolest freaking D&D builds on the face of the planet. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe, like the video, all that jazz, because if you are playing a tabletop RPG online, we probably have a video for you.